What's up guys, how you doing? This is Philip Start, and this is actually going to be the last episode in my long box series. So if you haven't seen the previous ones, make sure you check them out. And in this episode, I'm probably going to use one of my favorite features, and that's the logging annotations. So if you can see in this class, we have a horrible print LN. We never really want to do that. That's not very nice. I don't really like it. Well, in our application, we typically use a logging framework to control our logging for us. So in this class, I have the likes of Log4j, which is very popular in the industry. A lot of people use it. A lot of people use SLF4j on top. But in this, in this tutorial, we're just going to use Log4j. So what we want to do is use Log4j. And you can imagine how you typically instantiate that. You would bring in a, a private static final of your class. So, you know, like private static final, we've got our logger, logger equals, and then we say, was it logger dot get logger? And then we say app dot class, and, and like big horrible boilerplate um, code. But we don't want to do that. And we could remove the fully qualified type. We don't want to do that because we don't like writing code anymore. That's so last, last year. So, what we want to do is, we want to bring in our logger, so I can say log4j2 or 4, or sorry, log4j or log4j2. We also have the likes of commons log, we have uh, slf4j, and so on and so forth. So what we want to do is bring in log4j, Boom, there we go, and now we have access, simple as that, to a logger. So we say log.info, and that's it. Now we have a full logger on our class, so I can go ahead and run that and of course we have the correct logger printing out uh, line 21 and what that'll do is create the line that I just deleted so that's the private static final logger and the the class that the logger's in so that's one way you can remove your loggers and just use an annotation I hope you guys enjoyed this and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the series as I said it's the last episode uh, make sure you tell me what you felt about this very quick short snappy series rather than a large 20-30 uh, minute video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. Share with your friends and have a great day.